in this lecture we will talk about fruits the morphology of fruits and the various types of fruit now what is called as a true fruit we call eucarp as a true fruit now when i say true fruit what is the characteristic now this fruit is actually the ovary if the fruit is not made from ovary but from any other floral part for example thalamus sepals uh, petals we call it as false fruit now false fruit is also known as pseudo pseudo in the case of um, amoeba also we have understood it has pseudo pedia that is false legs pseudo means false pseudocarp means false fruit simple classification of fruits can be done as simple fruits which are again dry and succulent we'll talk about the simple fruits in detail in a separate lecture it's a comprehensive topic then is composite fruits and aggregate fruits now simple fruits are those which develop from monocarpellary uh, ovary or also from multicarpellary ovary but what is the difference between a dry simple fruit and a succulent simple fruit in the case of dry simple fruit the pericarp is not differentiated however in the case of succulent there is a clear distinction between the epicarp mesocarp and endocarp so a clear distinction between the three is seen in the case of succulent however in the case of dry simple uh, fruit we do not see that differentiation it is undifferentiated coming on to the next is what is the difference between composite fruit and aggregate fruit aggregate fruit a good example is custard apple sitafal as we call it now custard apple what happens is there are numerous fruitlets which are arranged within the multi, uh, multi capillary or what we call as um, the the uh, the the various capillaries together so it is a bunch of fruitlets which are seen together good example as i said is custard apple another good example are berries uh, droops another good example for aggregate fruits and all of these we call it as itario itario of berries itario of droops itario of custard apple that means it's a, a, a aggregate fruit and aggregate fruit is what is called as itario the next is composite fruits composite fruits develop from the whole of the inflorescence right so whole of the inflorescence makes the composite fruit composite fruits can be of two types sorosis and cyconus what is sorosis sorosis are the fruits which develop from spike spadix or catkin floris inflorescence so three types of inflorescence which can lead to sorosis fruits spike spadix and catkin which we have covered in our previous lecture on inflorescence cyconus is which develops from hypanthodium inflorescence that's the major difference so cyconus is seen in ficus carsica and sorosis is usually seen in mulberry so those are some classic examples for composite fruits so we have understood what are composite fruits what are aggregate fruits the various types of composite and aggregate fruits coming on to seeds now seeds can be either endospermic or non endospermic what is seed seed is nothing but a ripened ovule now this ripened ovule has an embryo this embryo has reserve food now there are various coverings for the seed we call these coverings as seed coat now these coverings are called as seed coat the outer one is known as testa the inner one is known as tegmen so the outer coat is testa inner coat is tegmen seeds as we mentioned could be endospermic and non endospermic endospermic is known as albuminous seed non endospermic is ex albuminous seed now what happens when the whole of the endosperm is present and food is within the endosperm we call it as endospermic seeds most of the monocots 
and some dicots are endospermic however most of the dicots are non endospermic some monocots are there which are non endospermic and that's the major difference between the seeds so in this section we have understood the types and the classification of fruits and the seeds endospermic as well as non endospermic we would be covering simple fruits in detail in a separate lecture stay tuned